So today is Monday, September 6th. I've now been in the hospital for a couple days after we climbed on top of Independence Pass. I woke up after about two hours of sleep that night with a stream of back pain and I thought that I had thrown my back out but little did I know that I had the first kidney stone that I've ever had in my life and I'll tell you right now you don't ever want to have one it's extremely painful I try to sleep but I just couldn't fall back to sleep at all I try to lay different ways I try to stand up I couldn't even sit and that's uh, when I started to get really, really sick and vomit. That's kind of when I knew that it was more than just uh, my back hurting. We went to one ER and they gave me some medicine and then they discovered the kidney stone. It didn't get any better after two days. So they admitted me over here in the ER in Aspen where I've been here for almost two days now. Uh, I just wanted to check in with everyone, let everyone know that I'm doing a lot, lot better, and that the doctors now think that I've passed the stone, but I've been kind of incoherent, been out of it a whole lot, so it's hard for me to remember exactly even what day it is or if I passed the stone or not. But I just want to say thank you to everyone for their prayers and best wishes, and that I'm going to fight through this thing, and once I'm finished and better, I'm going to get back out on the road and continue on, try to catch up on all the miles. I'm behind now three days. It can be very difficult to make up all that time, but you know, as long as I'm feeling better, I'm going to at least try to tackle it, even though my sister, my, you know, my family members, and friends don't really want me to have to try to make up 100 plus miles, but... You know, it's something I want to do to help all these military families.